Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at Heron's method. And today we're going to approximate square roots using Heron's method with the use of a calculator. And so let y be the value of the square root. And so here's Heron's formula. y equals a half times a plus x over a, where x is the non-perfect square, and a is the closest perfect square to x. So let's do some examples. Example one, using three iterations of Heron's formula, find approximations of the following square roots. Square root 14. So the closest is root 16, which is four. And so our x is 14 and our a is four. And so y equals half a plus x over a like that. So half plug in a four and four, plug in x 14, and this gives 3.75. So on the first iteration, we want to have two decimals. Now we're going to do this 3.75 again in Heron's formula. So we have 3.75 plus 14, which stays the same, right? X is still the same, but our A value is now 3.75. So we punch that in our calculator and we get 3.7416. If there's more decimals, just start with four like that. And then now we're going to do a third iteration where we take this value, plug it in again, and we get 3.74165 And so that's what it's approximately. And if you check on your calculator, root 14, it matches exactly. And so root 14 is approximately this value. Okay, B. root 27, so the closest is root 25, which gives five. So X is 27 and A is five, like that. So Y is half A plus X over A. Our A is five, plug that in. 27 is our X, we get 5.2 on the calculator. All right, so on the calculator, what am I doing? I'm doing 27 over five gives an answer. And then I go plus five gives another answer. Then I go divided by two, which gives this answer. That's how I punch it into my calculator. So we do a second iteration, plug in 5.2 like that, we get 5.1962. Then we plug that in again like that, and we get 5.1961524423 like that. And you check on the calculator and you get exactly that. So practice number one, Using three iterations of Heron's formula, find approximations of the following square roots. Root 33, root 85, root 10, and root 40. And the equation is here, y equals half a plus x over a. Is this something that you have to know by heart? Ask your teacher. Your teacher may want you to learn that by heart. A. So we got root 33. Closest is root 36, which gives six. So A is six and X is 33. We plug that in, we get 5.75. We plug that in and we get 5.7446. And then we plug that in and we get 5.744562647, like that. B, root 85. Closest is root 81, so A is nine x is 85. We plug that in, we get 9.2. Plug in 9.2 and we get 9.2196. Plug that value in and we get 9.2195444457 like that. C, root 10. Closest is root 9, so a is 3, x is 10. Plug that in, we get 3.16. Plug that in and we get 3.1623. Plug that in and we get 3.16227766 as our approximation. D, root 40. Closest is root 36, so A is 6, X is 40. Plug that in, we get 6.3. Plug in 6.3, we get 6.3246. Plug that in and we get 6.3245532. And that's it. It's that easy. I'll see you guys in the next video.